Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Great effort. Only seven turnovers for the team. Yeah. That's really great. Would you make an open comment for us to get started? Just say, you know, I, you know, every game in this league is dogfight, and this one was too. You know, for a lot of the game, and I thought, uh, I thought, I, I really thought that second half, the way we started it, and really for about the first fifteen minutes, we were outstanding. And first half was a grind. You know, we weren't we weren't playing that well on offense, but we were able to keep the lead because our defense was solid. You know, we were simple. We weren't turning the ball over. We were defending our tail off. We were having a tough time really clicking, getting our rhythm, and. Uh, but uh, in second half, I thought we put both parts together and really had it up to about 20 and then didn't play with the lead as well as we should have. Uh, and that's what let it get back down. Uh, you know, we got the ball inside a lot more was a big thing. You know, it was a little misleading because we had, I think, in the first half, you know, we had 17 free throws, which almost all came from points in the paint, and uh, but they don't count the same way. And um, But we took a lot of, you know, it's one of the things we talked about at halftime, you know, we took a lot of quick jump shots. And, uh, and I thought Ish and Zach both did the same, and it was, certainly wasn't just them. You know, it's just, I guess, part of being young and coming off a big game in both of their cases, but um, it was everybody. You know, Taylor took a couple early, Sean took a couple, and and um, and I thought we, and it's, it wasn't lack of intent, it wasn't lack of anything, it was just, you know, those are decisions that you're making on the court this fast, and and um, I thought in the second half we did a lot better job of, you know, getting the ball, being more patient and getting great shots, and um and, but that was really the thing that changed things. To answer your question. Okay, so how, how play levels added to your team, primarily and then in the OT? And I don't recall seeing you play any Brown this year, but it's Peter. Um, they were drive heavy, inside oriented, three assists. Um, would, a, would a zone be effective against a team like this? And, and what's the process there? You know, we actually played one possession out there, in there. We did. We played one possession of zone in which they scored two points on. And, uh, but it could be. You know, we, we thought of it because of that. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm going to say 59 plus 7, 66 possessions and uh, 15. You know, at the end of the day, they got 68 points on 81 possessions. You know, when it's all said and done, they shoot 42% from the field, 31% from the line. Those are pretty good numbers, and they're a very good offensive team. And uh, so it's not like our defensive numbers, actually 60, 74, plus 10, 84. So they got 68 points on 84 possessions. And at the end of the day, our defensive numbers were very solid. But to, could you have it in playing devil's advocate? Yeah. I can also flip it on you and tell you that, you know, when sometimes when you, this is the devil's, the other side of that argument, you know, and it's not, you can win by going both ways. But the other side of that argument is every time you play a team, a, a player like Eugene German, man to man and pick and roll coverage, and you play it man to man, you get better. You know, and I, they, I, you know, we may play a little more zone, you know, we'll see. But when I was at Arizona, we played Isaiah Thomas at Washington man to man three times in a row, and it was a nightmare, you know. And then Terrence Ross coming out of the corner, and we had a really tough time defending it. And but we did it all three times. We progressively got better. We lost to them two out of three, and a lot of people zoned them. And then when we got to the NCAA tournament, we played Memphis in the first round, Texas in the second round, we played uh, Duke in the third round, and UConn in the fourth round. And because we went, if we would have went zone in all those games, our pick and roll coverage wouldn't have gotten better. You know. And our pick and roll coverage by the end of the year was terrific because we were constantly tweaking it and challenging ourselves. And we guarded four pick and roll heavy teams and, and won all four. You know, that's the other side of that argument is get better. But we had one in our, in our arsenal. We have one that we know how to play. Obviously, we don't play it much. And, uh, and we played it one possession today. If, it, if I would have thought it got out of hand, I probably would have done it a little more. But. How hard is it for a uh, man and defense Yeah. 
I think that's the question. That's the million dollar question is, you know, I spent five minutes on it on Thursday. And that, that was what I was, because he drives the ball so well that it makes some sense, you know, to have it. And, uh, but that's five minutes we're not working on our man. And right now you're only practicing an hour and eight minutes, you know, this time of year of actual practice. So that's, and, um, and I was asking myself, was it the right decision? But I, I wanted to have it just in case. And we, we did okay on the possession, but we were out of rebounding position and they got a put back on it. And, um, but yeah, that's the, that's the problem with it. It's not that, sure, it's easy to have it, but then you have to invest time in it if you want to be good at it. And that's time you're not working on something else and you can't be great at everything. And right now, you know, knock on wood, I mean, our defensive numbers through the last, really through the whole conference are terrific. You know, we're one of the best defensive teams in this conference, and you might argue in the last seven games, I'd have to compare and contrast, we could be the best defensive team in the conference for the last month. You know, we're defending really well, and we have two big guys that really know how to defend and are great defenders. And, um, and if we make a run here, that it's going to be – as much as anything because of our ability to defend and rebound, which we didn't get done tonight. But we've been doing it very well for a while. Coach, it was a tight game throughout most of that game. I think around 13, they mucked three points, and then Sean hits that three. Is, is there a different mentality with the guys today? No. I mean, I'm sure there's a little bit more for the record. And things started to click. You guys went on a 26 run there. Was there just a difference there in excitement level? or? I don't think it had anything to do with that. I mean, I think they want Sean to do well, but I, I thought it was that we were able to go defense to offense, and I thought our pace was really good. You know, Ish, I thought, in the half court needed to trade in some of his shots for assists, but the one thing he brought for us was a real spark with his pace. And I thought uh, in that stretch we were really playing fast, and we were able to get out on offense, and, and the faster we play on situations like that, the better. Um, no, I, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, I mean, he's, he, I, he wasn't as sharp. I thought last game he had his best defensive game of the year. And, uh, you know, tonight it's a hard game because he's guarding pick and rolls and he's got Eugene German coming downhill on him. And, um, and then the two guys he guarded are the guys that he guarded their five man a lot, but Eugene, he sets pick and rolls for Eugene German. So your five man has got to guard him when he sets him. And then, um, and then he guarded. Uh, he picked up the, you know, his fifth foul on Levi Bradley, who draws a lot of fouls. And uh, I mean, I think he'll be fine. Just a freshman. Uh, coach, you guys kind of came out of both halves and really set the tone on defense and offense. Really started out with the eight-zero uh, in the first half, and then I think it was seven in the second half. Uh, what would you like about the way your team kind of came out and really set the tone out there? I thought it was great, really, both. And it's one of the things that I've been talking to them about is, you know, if you notice, our starts are much better right now. And I feel like our focus coming into games is right. And I thought our, I, I thought we started the game right uh, in the, the start of the game. And I thought the first two possessions of the, before he called the timeout, like from when the second half started to when he called that timeout, was the best minute and 20 seconds of basketball we played since I've been here. It was like our defense was stifling. We got defense to offense. And, we, we got the ball inside and kicked it back out to Taylor for a wide open three. And when he shot it, we had three guys like fighting with each other over the rebound, everybody running. And I thought that focus to start the second half was exceptional. It was great. A week ago, you were four games out of first with four to play. And I'm sure that lost you in tremendous heat. You won that. Or it might have just flew out of you. But anyway, you won behind mm -hmm. You know, I'm not even looking at it, you know, because at the end of the day, we can only control our what we're doing. So I don't really think about it, you know. What I, what I feel like is we've kind of found our identity here, and we have to recognize that and stick with it and understand how important it is for us to be great at those things. You know, we have to be able to defend our tail off. We have to rebound. You know, we didn't get the job done there tonight. And we have to be able to wear you out inside. And um, 
because we're a big physical team. And that's not easy to do. It's certainly not going to be easy to do Friday against Western, who's very physical. And, uh, but we have to be able to do those things every night. And if we do that, then we'll, we'll see where it all stands at the end. It's great. You know, I'm happy for him because he's earned it. And uh, But the thing I told Sean is, you know, it, it, he's playing right, great right now. And and uh, I told him the other day, you know, he has the highest plus minus for us over like the last 10 or 12 games. And that always comes when a guy's playing great. You know, when he's, when he's in the right place, when he's a complete player, he's not worried about his points. He's not worried about his stats. He's not worried about anything. He's just worried about playing the game the right way and winning. And uh, you know, that type of behavior is contagious. And guess what? Selfish behavior is contagious, too. And, you know, he's a great teammate right now. He's playing the game really well. And uh, usually when guys are doing that, that's when the records kind of come, you know. It just he's playing a really honest game of ball, and he's defending and doing everything right. And it's fun to see him mature and kind of grow as a person to, to play the way he's playing right now. We talked about less quick jump shots, you know, making sure we got the ball inside. And I thought our guys all got that, and we got the ball inside a lot more um, in the second half. Big difference in the game, for sure. Coach, thanks a lot for coming right. up. Let's do it again Friday. You got it.